what is you well you told us your view on celibacy you tried it when you were single mm -hmm. but if you're not single right. and you are actively dating mm -hmm. would you be celibate no nah. I think that's something you do. <laughs> I've been waiting all week for this. Right, right. Not all week. Not all week, though. Not all right. week. <laughs> Celibacy is something that you, uh, a journey that you go on solo. By I do not yourself. feel like you should bring another person in today. Okay. I'm gonna get away and you need time to yourself. Feeling so overwhelmed with problems. Seems like nothing can solve it. No, you need a mental break. Well, come on in, pull up a chair. And have some fun with a couple friends just like you. Oh. This is Auntie's and Mimosas. If you come in a little closer, you'll see we live life like we're supposed to. So come on in. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Aunties and Mimosas. I'm your girl, Dr. Shar. And I'm your girl, Miss Lady. And y'all, we got some uncles for the next episode today. And yeah, you know, we warned y'all that the uncles were coming. <laughs> yeah. And they here. And they came. Got Big Unc King. Okay. Hey, and Big on? Unc Tempo. Yo, yo. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank y'all for coming. So we're happy to be here. Thank you for yeah. the for having us. Yeah, yeah we appreciate y'all coming to give y'all perspective today. Happy to give it. Uh -oh. So we gonna sure want it. <laughs> yeah, we want it. Yeah, we, we need it. it. We got the ladies, so now we, we need We got the ladies, so now y'all 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 gonna get the second part. Nah, I can't wait for it. I'm excited. Oh, no. uh, let's let's so we're gonna dive on into the drink of the week so we can go ahead and get loose lipped. Yes. Uh what Fine. we got today <laughs> is some prosecco uh with pineapple juice and spiced. Captain Morgan rum to top it off. What we got to get, friend? We got One it. more time. Prosecco, <laughs> pineapple juice, spice Captain Morgan rum. Let's Kill do it. it. All right, let's go. Hell yeah. Cheers. Cheers it up. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers. guys. Can't cheers. reach you, but cheers. Just thirsty. <laughs> oh, oh come on. That's, that's it got my name on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you didn't see it. It got your name you on it. You didn't see it. It's got yeah. your name. On I, like it. I like that. I like that touch. That's it's good. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, that that spice rum just oh, gave yeah. you that little kick. That I think we all did the kick at the same time. Oh, yeah. Like, Come on, kick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know how, how Kool Aid be real sweet and it just kind of hit mm -hmm. in the back. Yeah, of the yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we got. That's what we got. That's okay. Oh yeah, that's good. Woo. Right we got a winner for like that, that one too. Yes. That's another summer drink, baby. Okay. I don't need a recipe for that one. We're gonna be lit this summer. Lit. And so we gonna. Go ahead and get down to our icebreakers. So first icebreaker today is what's your dream retirement? So mm. we're going to start with you. Oh, yeah. Mine is pretty simple. Okay. To go away. Mm. No phones, no internet, no nothing. Just go away. Uh huh. And no one can reach me. Oh, no. nobody? No. You're going to be by yourself? By myself. You're going to be lonely. Oh. But what if something happened? It happens. That's my time. <laughs> it's all on you now. Be with God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You just want peace, peace, quiet, no solitude. responsibility but yourself. Peace, exactly. quiet, and solitude. I got you. I got you. Exactly. Like, okay. I'm, I'm real easy. Like, okay. Just, mm, I can be on the beach somewhere. Don't nobody need to talk to me. Mm -hmm. I don't need to talk to them. Mm -hmm. Like I talk to like 32 different people every day. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm cool with like not tired of people at all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. And Uncle Tempo, what's what about you? Man, mine's somewhat the same. <laughs> I want to be, I want to be on a ranch somewhere. Okay. A, a beach of, and a ranch. That's a little different. Yeah, a little different, but the solitude part. The solitude you know, part. So, like like so, that's that's real man shit right you now. Know, like yeah. you don't want to you know, got my got my chickens, I got my little garden, just chilling. Okay. Don't By yourselves. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'll bring a wife with me. Okay. She can okay. Come. The, lady, she can come. the lady to come, like, you know come. what I'm saying? But like, just... she gonna come visit or she gonna be with you all the time? Cause no, that's, 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 she that's nagging that's or lot. whatever. <laughs> that's, that's asking a lot. That's asking a lot. I don't know. Dang. Yeah, What's she gonna? Like, you gonna have a house for or something? That's, yeah, that's yeah, a different the story. For, right. Hey, the kids, <laughs> the so dog, funny. the wife, y'all. The house is for you. Mm -hmm. 
I'll be out in the garage. Mm. I'll be out in the barn. Got to be. Y'all just about to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, get you a little acreage. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Okay. 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 Cigars, just Grandkids coming out here. I'm. I'm out. Y'all know where I'm at. I'm Grand in the garage cheese. smoking a cigar. Jesus. Drinking my whiskey. Is we grandkids? Yep. Hey. No, I ain't no grandkids. I'm just saying. I'm saying like <laughs> yes, later on true. down the line. I'm talking. I, you said retirement. I know. I'm just. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You did say retirement. You I'm talking. I'm thinking like when I'm when in my sixties and seventies. I'm yeah. in my. My uncle stage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. We in our auntie stage. I was yeah. like, I ain't no grandma yet. <laughs> not <laughs> yet. I mean, there is some people's grandpas and grandmas already. But already? But not us. Yeah. Not us. Nah, I, I ain't. Yeah, I ain't already. Oh, no. Yeah, I've been out the game. I don't know. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and surprise. And then, uh, so for a, for me, my retirement would look like free travel. Mm-hmm. Like I could just travel wherever I want, no restrictions, mm-hmm. nothing. I was about to ask you to go stay in the in the country. Uh uh-uh. uh. That, 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 not at all. At, That's I don't want to be in the country right now. Okay. Hey, I feel <laughs> but, like, at all. Be careful yeah. right now though. You might want to be in this country. <laughs> right right now. Now. That's real. That's so real. I just be I want to travel and like go with the locals. Mm. I know mm. it's gonna sound real crazy, mm. but kind of like backpack through Europe or I something. Feel that. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Okay. So, what about you? Mine would be travel and eating, like <laughs> different cuisines. Mm. Mm. So, like you know, wherever I travel to, like kind of get their spices and stuff like that. That's so. very expensive. <laughs> well, you gonna be expensive. <laughs> like, like, I, no, mean, eat, no. I mean, I like, mean, when you want to eat, you want to eat expensive. You want yeah. the cuisines. If she, she said, said cuisines, she didn't say the local culture. She said the local. She said cuisines. Well, she said cuisines, not well, the local. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Eat with the local. You said retirement. <laughs> I ain't trying to do nothing. I'm <laughs> trying to have a driver. You know what I'm saying? I'm listening. I'm like, all right. I'm trying to have a driver and everything. With the whole over there <laughs> eating, eating cuisine. You, you was adding her? Man, I was like, bro. Well, because like, no. I, I, well. I do some traveling. And I'm like, man, to eat with the locals is not too bad. No. Uh-huh. But to eat like the cuisines and the five star The Michelin five star yeah. restaurant. And we'll have it, so it won't matter. Oh, my we'll God. have it, so it won't matter. Yeah. And I'm talking about like traveling this- where I'm gone for like. Months. Yeah, weeks and yeah. months at a time, not oh, for like two weeks. <laughs> and I sure will be. I sure will be <laughs> on my yacht. What is too long for a vacation for you? There is no too depending long. Depending on who you're with. Oh, Mm. Depending on who you're yeah, with, I would yeah, say, I so. like if you're with friends, I would say a week. week yeah. That's that's enough. If you're with your spouse, probably like a month. A month. <laughs> no, I'd say a month. A month. <laughs> Three days. <laughs> Sir, you need a new spouse in this. A uh, whole, place. yeah. <laughs> new spouse me, please. Who <laughs> watching the kids, though? Like three days. Grandma, like, we retired. Grandma is tired. She, well, you said retired, but we retired. They grown. So the kids they got, grown. Their grown. Kids. they got their own kids. They got their own family. <laughs> oh, man. So that means they in my house. Not necessarily. Destroying and eating my shit. Not necessarily. Yeah, if they grown, they 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 coming back. Oh, oh the pops uh, gone. Yeah, out of town? yeah, pops gone out of town. Same you know, shit. like they they doing shit that you they know they can't get away with. Right, right, right. They know that. Like uh, think about think about when your pops and parents was gone right, from the right. house. You was into it. <laughs> but we said retired. Yeah. We said retired. If I'm traveling and gone somewhere, they coming in my house and doing shit. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily. I, I know I my got kids. some creative brains. We're going to go to the next <laughs> question. <laughs> for like 10 minutes. It's okay? because we thought about this. Like, <laughs> okay. Y'all planned it for real. real <laughs> this is a real thought. Exactly I'm going right. to make something real easy for y'all then. What was your favorite cartoon character as a kid? Or your favorite cartoon to watch? I'm going to let you take that one. Uh, cartoon... I'm gonna say uh, <laughs> Dragon Ball. You Man, look like you Ball. like Dragon Ball Z. Hey, Dragon I Ball's never fire. Okay, I Dragon never, I never yeah, watched yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, Dragon Ball's fire. Like you can't go wrong. I with never that. watched it. Like that. That was that was that was deep. That's hard to beat. Dragon, yeah. Dragon Ball is real. What about I, you? Mine was Gargoyles. Ooh, Ooh, that was good. Gargoyles, Gargoyles. was good. That, that was hard. Oh, that, that came was, on that, every day. Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. When, when Goliath would bust out and be like, "Come to light!" Yeah. Oh, I was like, "Gargoyles is good." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gargoyles <laughs> is a good cartoon. Yeah, that was and, hard. and for me, it was <laughs> Darkwing Duck. Ooh, that was a good Queen one too. Duck? Yeah, yeah. yeah the best thing. Yeah. Yeah. Dangerous. Yeah. Dangerous. Yeah. Dangerous. Yeah. Dangerous. Right? That's a good one. That's, That's a good one. Dangerous, bro. Um, I would say mine would probably be Garfield. Garfield. Okay. Garfield. Everybody hates so Mondays. Yeah. 
<laughs> what? Garfield, Why y'all Garfield wrestling like with me today? Because you said cuisine. <laughs> Garfield likes lasagna. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, right? it ain't, yeah. It all y'all oh. asked what my favorite cartoon was. I was always. always oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we Dang. watched the show. Dang. We watched the show. Thank you. I ain't got to die. Look, I just been grown all my life. That's all. I've been grown all my life. Now you have sugar in it. You know, you have sugar in it. Like, who? Yes, you do. Get Mikey to eat it. That's life cereal, but like, Mike ain't eat anything. She over there. <laughs> what? Kicks. Kicks. I like kicks. I like kicks now, not as a kid. <laughs> yeah, but somebody well, said uh, uh, Frosted Flakes with a banana. That was me. I was like, that's fine. That's, that's fine. That is good. With some blueberries, too. Come on now. That's fire. Look, yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that, a that's a good adulting cereal. Right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, that's adulting because I, I would just eat one. eat Frosted Flakes by itself as a kid. Bro. Yeah. Right. But as an adult, got to do the But the bananas is. Top it off. Get your little vitamins. So our next thing today, what we going down to? I know I ain't trying to lead it, Just but go ahead. Go ahead, friend. No. Let's do it. Let's go on it today. You right. That's cool. That's cool. Um, so our next uh thing we're gonna do, get in your bag. And if you don't watch the show each show episode, then I'll do a get in your bag se- segment to give you a little bit of information to help you plan for your financial future. Mm-hmm. So get in your bag today is gonna be about retirement. So since we just asked everybody what they wanted to do in retirement, guess what you got to do? Fund it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it ain't free. (laughs) So uh, individual retirement accounts. If you don't work for a company or if you're like a 1099 employee or gig worker, then you're going to need to set up your own individual retirement account. And for the retirement account, there is a 7K... uh, $7,000 $7,000 a year max contribution and benefit is that it lowers your taxable income. You have two versions of the account that you can open. You can open a Roth IRA and that is on um, when you contribute the funds to a Roth IRA, that's money that you've already paid taxes on. Mm-hmm. So when you take it out, you don't have to pay your taxes again. Pre-tax dollars. Pre-tax dollars. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, the traditional IRA, you pay taxes when it's withdrawn, and that's going to be at your retirement age of 59 and a half uh, in order to avoid penalties. Your retirement age of 59 and a half is also when you will have, have to set up what's called RMD, required, required minimum distributions. Mm-hmm. So, again, you can do your 7K a year up until your 59 and a half to fund your account. Fidelity has some great free options. Look, I'm not promoting them, but I did used to work for them. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Hey, it's the information. Hey, we need, need, we need yeah. the information. They got good so. free options, and it allows you. You can leave it in cash, mutual funds, or you can actually put the stocks in your uh, IRA account. So that's the uh, tip for the week. Nice. That's what's All up. All right. Okay. Are you starting it? Yeah. Good yeah. job. Yeah. You said what was the question? I asked him, "Have you started yet?" Started. Oh, okay. Because yeah. uh, a, a lot of us hadn't started yet. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. uh, it's just been about two years. Yeah, yeah. It, it ain't been long. Because a lot of us are self-employed now, started. entrepreneurs. <laughs> so we don't right. have that four hundred one k option from the large right. corporate employers right. anymore. Right. So yeah. But see the the free the free from fidelity that's that's important for the entrepreneurs. Yeah, absolutely. Ten ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. So that's that's a huge help, a huge guide. Like to, hey, we don't know where to start. Yeah. But this is a good, good. start. This is a good start. start. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Like that's that's a great tip. That you ain't got to plug them, but, but yeah, yeah, you know I what I'm mean, saying. Yeah, it is. But like, we don't know where to go for Dylan. Yeah, I know, you know right? What I'm saying? Hey, Look. send some dollars. Look. Look. <laughs> a few dollars. A few you know dollars. I mean? Sponsor, sponsor episode. Well, that's too. a great employee. I'm just saying. <laughs> My reviews were amazing. I just left because I needed more money. <laughs> I can dig it. Hey, we all, we all. Need that's the, oh, that's need the mission. Money. Mm-hmm. That's the, all right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and get into get your help this week. So mm-hmm. last week we talked about. Um, one of our persons, uh, Raw, she said semen retention. So this week we're going to talk about semen retention and the benefits. Um, <clears throat> semen retention is a practice of avoiding ejaculation. Have you guys ever tried that? 
Mm-hmm. Avoiding ejaculation. Like <laughs> 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 just what it says. Are we talking about like pull out or no, what no, we talking about? No, not the pull out Stop game. Completely. Just, you know, just <laughs> nothing that. comes out. Yeah. That sounds like edging to me. Like, what? Um, yeah. yeah. Kind of like edging. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point of that? <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> it's done for physical, emotional, and spiritual reasons. Sounds um, like frustration. <laughs> It helps with improving <laughs> fertility, uh, sexual pleasure, and physical health. Um, during <laughs> uh, during a practice, it was said to help um, <clears throat> with sexual energy and produ- uh, productive activities, more productive activities. Um, in tw- 2003, a small study shows that 28 volunteers that uh, did non-masturbation, um, the testosterone, Testosterone levels were higher by se- day seven, so maybe you should try I mean, it. If you don't use it, like it, it you just don't lose sto- it. it, gets stored. You don't up. use. Like, you don't lose it's not, it. It's, like, <laughs> it's not you don't, that. Um, you don't do it for uh, like an extended amount of time. It's, it's you know it's everything about it. I say like they say a year. I say just try for like six months. It do help. Just it do help. But you said retention and like hold hold like don't. Yeah. Like, I mean, it, it can also go Of course, your testosterone into, is going to be higher if, you, right, if you're not releasing none of it. That, but that's you're crazy. doing other things with that to take your mind off of that. Yeah, that's to try not to kill people. That's like, <laughs> you're redirecting your sexual like you're energy. Redirect, yeah. you're work redirecting out. Your, work your out instead. Energy. Work out instead. That's what I see a lot of men doing. Look, instead of, look, you know. There's a whole country, a whole continent. That created a martial arts. You want to know why? Why? Because they're sexually frustrated. <laughs> well, coming up with different ways to fight and and it was survival of the fittest. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. like, hey, there's a woman over there. We need to get her. Like, hey, how do we? How do we? As men, decide who's going who's going to talk to her. We got to fight it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we got to talk you into it. <laughs> See, that's a lot so, of that's a lot. so there's a lot of energy that needs to go into we got to fight this out and then we got to talk talk you into it right mm-hmm. that's survival of the fittest type thing but you talking about we need to go back to that to where we just need to nah. Nah. Nah, everybody was busting nuts yeah like Everybody's busting us like we kind of cool. Like, all right, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. You got ain't no real crazy wars right now. Not necessarily, though. Not necessarily. It is benefits in it, though. I tried. You, you tried, tried it? it? Yeah. yeah. It's benefits in it. Okay. Yeah. Look, what, like, do you, what did you. Uh, everything you said energy, uh, focus, um, and. Hair was growing good, skin. Come was on good. now. Listen, <laughs> in the sun. <laughs> yeah. And, and I don't know what it do for women, but it. Turns them more on not finishing when y'all mm. when y'all doing mm. like they, it's like a mission for them to oh, make try it. to get you. That, and that, that yeah. sound like some experience over there. Talking hey, about that, that's what he said. He yeah, just said he did. Yeah, like, was you paying attention? It's no, the drink. no. I'm it's saying like he done, he done tried <laughs> with his with his lady, like his lady out over there, like oh, like edging her to this to this point, and mm-hmm. then stop. Yeah. yeah. And then she's like, oh. And then, then if you make sure she good and you just good and you just stop, mm. oh man, oh, it's a mental thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah see, I, that man, like, okay. Yeah. Well, we might as well just jump on down into our topic, <laughs> the main topic. Yeah, just go ahead and jump on down into the main topic. So, was your was that practice from you doing being celibate or? Um, it was after I tried celibacy. Then I learned about semen retention. Then I tried it. I was I was single when I tried celibacy, so it was it wasn't that bad. bad yeah. yeah, it was easy. Yeah, it's easier when you are single. So, yeah, super easy. It is. Um, quick definition for those who haven't watched the first episode: the um, definition of celibacy, according to WebMD, WebMD, celibacy is the practice of not having sex. But not everyone defines celibacy the same way. Some people abstain from all kinds of sexual contact, including kissing or holding hands and other refrains just from sexual intercourse. So we will start with (laughs) (laughs) about the um, what is you? Well, you told us your view on celibacy. You tried it when you were single, Mm -hmm. but if you're not single and you are actively dating, Mm -hmm. would you be celibate. No. Nah, I think that's something you do. 
<laughs> I've been waiting all week for this. <laughs> <laughs> right? Not all week. Not all week, though. Not all week. Right? Not all right? week. <laughs> Cel- celibacy is something that you, uh, a journey that you go on solo. By I do not yourself. feel like you should bring another person in today. Okay. Because it, it's it's getting you, it's getting your body right, getting your mind right. That's a personal journey. That's a that solo is. journey. Correct. So don't even get yourself in, in a relationship or a situation where you gotta and you make it harder for yourself. And it's kind of like it's kind of stingy to the partner too. Stingy. By yourself. By yourself. Get yourself right. Then, get yourself then, then you get, you get well right. then more people should get themselves right. right. Exactly. Because That's the problem. That is the a problem. lot of people are not. We're talking about something different though. Like you wanna you wanna talk about well, everybody need to get themselves right, which is true. Mm-hmm. Right, the it, it's an inward thing, right? Yep. So mm-hmm. we're not against celibacy. Celibacy helps you repurpose and reframe your mind. Absolutely, mm-hmm. right? If you're going on that journey, be all for abstaining from something because celibacy is not just, just about mm-hmm. sex. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like if you you know celibate from drinking or mm-hmm. abstaining from drinking or abstaining from smoking. Mm-hmm. Uh, repurposing your mind and having a focus mm-hmm. is what you're trying to do on your journey for yourself. Now, if you're incorporating a spouse into mm-hmm. that, now you're look you're looking at making a decision that's for you, mm-hmm. for us, right? Right. right. Mm-hmm. So you got to get us on board. Mm-hmm. That's a consulting thing that needs to happen. That's a whole conversation. That's a whole conversation. Now, the topic is celibacy while. Dating, uh-huh. mm-hmm. you're dating. That's like your celibacy is on you. So like you're wondering, how come no one is is trying to help me join on this journey? And th- because that's a you thing, mm-hmm. not a us thing. Mm-hmm. If we're dating, like you're here today, going tomorrow. But if we're in a in a relationship, relationship. Mm-hmm, then that's something different. Because then that's a discussion, and we make that decision together. Definitely, right? definitely. So being celibate while dating. Okay, you're, it's difficult. you're yeah, you're setting yourself up for failure. Yep. Right? Because then because then you're you're sitting here asking someone who doesn't have the same values or that you don't know has the same values as you mm-hmm. or you don't even know their religion yet and you're saying, "Hey, well, I'm celibate." Well, you know what I'm saying? Like if you're trying to get to know me, this is as far as that boundary goes when as a man and a woman or as a woman and a woman or if you're trying to get more than a platonic level You've got to go extensive. There will be sexual yeah, energy, sexual like, I gotta chemistry. Be attracted well, to I, but it doesn't I have to be. be like, okay, natural. but that's fine. It doesn't have to be non-sexual energy. But if you tell this person, hey, I'm interested in you and I want to, you know, take that next step with you. It don't have to be sex. Mm. It don't have to be sex. If that person. What's the next step? It's not required. <clears throat> yeah, what well, is the next step? Like if you want to go like into a relationship with this person, like in take it from dating to a relationship. To a serious it doesn't have to be sex because I mean, why why I'll does everything have to be about I'll say sex? Just <laughs> wait until you until, until you're, you're ready. Because what's the what's the reason you're celibate? On personal journey. You okay. know, like, you know, I for me is I want to get closer with God. Okay. And, you know, I want to be married. And if I'm just out here sleeping with different guys and everything, it's going to deter me from going to the goal that I want Mm -hmm. is to be married to the person, you know, that's for me. That is meant for me. That God Like, why am I going to go out here and just sleep with anybody else? I'm not not saying just go sleep with anybody. I'm just saying don't put yourself in a position to where you're um, getting to know people or uh, someone and you're not done with your internal work yet. So if you if, if you're celibate, you're celibate, look, celibacy, you're working on something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, get done with yourself first, then you go out there. But well, it's it's not even that I have to be done with myself because you're never done you're never, healing. Right, you're, you're never, never done, done. But you know, you it's know. it's a level. I'd say everything is do everything in balance. You don't want to stay in like celibacy. For 20 years. Forever, you know what I mean? Exactly. I I know that, but I'm just saying, like, while I'm dating someone, I don't want them to think, okay, well, now that we're in a relationship, I'm going to get these draws real quick. Like, I don't want them to think that. Is that a conversation you have before y'all get to that? Yeah, that is. And and that allows me, like, that's something that I do. I'll say, hey, you know, I'm I'm celibate. I'm not having sex Mm -hmm. because I want to get to know you. And, you know, then they'll be like, oh, well, dang, I want to have sex with you. 
Go that's on good. somewhere. Yeah. Go that's on right. somewhere that's because it's, it's not. That, that is healthy, though. Clear out. That's healthy that someone is saying, like, hey, I'm sexually or physically attracted Tr- to you. True. Right. Mm-hmm. Like you, like a lot of a lot of marriages right now is their divorce rate is because either one party is not happy sexually yep. or there's a financial uh, issue. Yep. issue. That's the top, the, two. Right? Top, the top two. Top two. Yeah. Right? So I mean, you're, you're not going to know if you're even sexually compatible until you get married if, you, if you're doing the celibacy. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm not saying, hey, don't, don't right. do it. You do what works for you. I mean, but, yeah. Like, work within your religion if you're, if you're <laughs> yeah, doing it religiously. But, yeah, like, it just, typically, like, you wouldn't... I wouldn't suggest anyone to give me married to someone that you don't even know that your sexual experience together is a part. You know what I'm saying? Like, because then you're in a relationship where you're um, sexually dissatisfied and exactly. somebody's going to cheat. You can teach but them. Remember okay. we talked no, it's, about okay, it's, more so. than the, it's, it's more than the act. It's the like, it's the sexual chemistry. Yeah. That like too. me just, we weird. just sit down talking can be foreplay but, or exactly. you know, just being around each other. How, how he walks for you, how he you know, um, do how things he around makes your plate, just, how he, how he fill, it, fills it your be, glass up. You know what I'm saying? It can but be the you can't do that. that. You can't do that without having sex. Okay, so you gotta be. You gotta have put, that energy. It's the steps. So the equipment that he come with, mm-hmm. right? You mm-hmm. ain't gonna see until you married, right? Let's, there's there's let's, different things. No. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Where adults? Where adults? Wait, where adults? You can send pictures and well, be like, hey, okay, well, you know. Look, well, so hey, if he, so you if he, he sexting. If he sent, you, if he sent that's you a plan, picture, that's playing. That you that's playing. Yeah, exactly. What's playing with it? I ain't sending it? no pictures if you ain't trying to if work you ain't with trying it. Trying to give it up. Like, what am I? If, what am if I teasing myself for? It to work, I'm not sending no. Don't play with me like well, that. You know what you're working with. You know what you're working with. No, I know no. what I'm working with. I no, no, no. <laughs> you know what you're working with until you give it to me. So say, say, like, dude, come out and he got a micro penis, but you don't see that. You don't know what it look like. Now he got a micro penis. That's, 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 that's what you're working with. That's what you're doing. You better love that little wee wee. You better love that little wee wee. That's what you're doing. He probably got some money too. But see, then you bring the brand of infidelity. Yeah, because that's going to bring up infidelity because you're going to sit there and not be satisfied. You're going to get tired of pleasing yourself. Yeah. What's and the next you, step? you gonna lay in the bed and look at him, and be like, I "Can't stand this nigga." You gonna right. have on Instagram. It, <laughs> then it's gonna be resentment. Yeah. yeah. Then it's gonna be resentment. Then it's gonna be. I see y'all's point of view. Yeah. I I know the woman's point of view, of course, because mm. that's my point of view. But right. I, I can understand why y'all would say in a relation when you're trying to date and get to know each other. Yeah. Cutting that off completely is like cutting off actually building that part of the relationship. Yeah. Because how can you build that? Emotional and sexual connection with a partner. If you come, if you automatically if cut it off, right, right. if it don't exist. Okay, so that's coming, a whole part of knowing somebody. I, yeah, and that's I a part. See, I yeah. see y'all's part, but coming from a woman's side, we do that. We, you know, allow a man to get in our presence and you know show us his representative. If y'all saw what we mm-hmm. talked about last time, and a lot of men will do that until they get the draws, and then it's time to go. They, you know, they out of there, and so it's just said, like we, we said. Well, damn. <laughs> so let's see how that representative can, how long that representative can last. And it's a lot. Yeah, that's how I feel. That's how I tell people so it's consistency. You like that, right? Exactly. You, know you don't know because you, you don't see know your that time. they have the representative. So you really are vetting them to see if this is truly your personality mm-hmm. or if this is what you're just trying to show me to win me over. So what mm-hmm. if he get it and he now he don't enjoy what he had? Then what? Then he leaves. He can say that. Or he, he does say whatever. He, I mean, he can be like, he's uh, not required know. to stay with a woman that he's not with, um, satisfied with right. either. I mean, neither party is required to stay. So let's say you go all the way, right? You go all the way to marriage. We don't wait it. And you're not sex. You're not satisfied. It was trash. It was trash, trash it was can on the wedding no, night. There's no man. coaching this man. <laughs> well, we got to try, try it again <laughs> on wedding night. We got to try it again. We but, see, again in the morning. but there's no coaching it. There's <laughs> no coaching. So, so <laughs> well, uh, what's, if, what's if the, he's a what premature the ejaculator, right, there is, is no coaching that because hey. he's just well, just too busy. Hey, some look things. here, look here. Two and minutes. We got to do it twice. Look. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what, what is the way that mouth do this? Two minutes of your life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so 
I'm gonna need you to figure it out, man. I'm gonna but need you look, to figure it but, out. But this, but that's the part that you're gonna find out before, like when it's too late. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, now we six months in, we a year in, we two years in. That's a lot of time you put. That's in a lot person. of time so, to put in and, and be like, okay, well, how do we, how do we resolve this? How do we get back to on, being on course with us? Because right. honestly, um. Some things just need to be released. Mm-hmm. Like your frustrations sometimes just need to be released. And how are you going about doing that? Are you creating a, na- a, a different avenue for that? Because mm-hmm. like there's only so much working out that anybody can do that that's going that's why we that's going to make me survive. still like you. Right. Yeah. When so we then, not when we not seeing eye to eye. Am I mm-hmm. doing? Are, are you doing self pleasure? So much, so much of that. You it's can only do. so There's much. There's only so much of that you can do. Okay. I mean, you want your woman. Yeah. You like want the you, physical touch yeah. of. You know, most men, they're uh, these rough callous hands can only do so much. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> Man, I work in construction. These they like it's only so come much. on now. We don't we don't want these. I won't touch my own hand. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I got you. I got you. And y'all got toys, so it don't it ain't even fair. It's not the same. Y'all it got ain't toys too. Fair. They do have them little pocket coochies. Man, yeah, look, and then the little the little things you know where you can <laughs> stick a, the flesh the flesh light flesh flesh. Hey, man, it I looks like a whatever it's mouthy called. thing you stick it. Yeah, y'all seen it in there. Y'all seen it. Y'all seen it. They playing. They playing. They seen it. Y'all seen it. Probably got one. You got one at home. You got one in white. Asian. I want my lady. Like, there's nothing to replace a lady, like, especially a black woman. Oh, I, I want my black woman to come talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Come talk to me. Put them lips on me. Come talk to me. Let let me know that I'm your man, mm-hmm. right? Like that's that's what I need. That time, just yeah. not just the physical, just that time of just bonding. Yeah, I, that can be everything. Yeah. You guys are more emotionally mature than majority of society. Yeah, <laughs> we just know that's how terrible. to communicate. It. That is terrible. That's that's the only. Like that's this only is a base level. It is. Yeah, yeah. this is very what, base. And, like and yeah. I, I, as a 37 year old woman, I feel like what I ask for in relationships is basic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, I but think we all come from basic. the same uh, generation, yep. from the yeah. same oh, yeah. era. I'm 37 too. Yeah. Okay, and then yeah. for some reason, when I'm communicating this, it is too much work, yeah. or it's not. Mm. It's not. It's never reciprocated. Yeah, never reciprocated. Mm. Mm. So it's just like that's that's, that's why you know are these guys run y'all same age? Yeah. yeah. Really? Or that's are they thing. older? Same age. Same age. Okay. So here's here's what it is. All right. I I'll, I'll give I'll break it down to you. Like a lot of a lot of guys our age are still working on themselves internally and still trying to understand how to receive your message. Mm. Right? It's not that we don't hear you. Is we got one box check, we got this box check. Now we're listening to you, and we're still trying to receive that message. Like, hey, babe, uh, I need you to do this for me because emotionally, this is not working for me. Like in in that sense, a man like I saw I saw a, a meme with Steve Harvey for a, a Family Feud, and the dude said Steve Harvey asked the question. He said. Uh, uh, describe something that you feel, right? Mm. And the dude said a Kool Aid pitcher, right? Mm. Like fill it up. Yeah, fill okay, it up. See, like, see, but, but, but emotional. Feel. Exactly, yeah, exactly. But see, that's what he 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 went to immediately. Yeah. And I, I'm like, that's exactly because like, men are logical. And exactly. Are He's thinking that's logically. Right, right. Yeah. I need to feel something right. versus logically. I, I need I to. Need to I feel, feel it internally. Yeah. Right. And so what he did was his answer was, was correct. correct. Yeah. It just wasn't what they were looking for. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's the same thing for a woman. Yeah. The answer we give you is going to be correct. It's just not what you're looking for. Right. And so most men our age are still navigating how to understand what you're saying to us. Mm-hmm. And so I think that's that's really where the disconnect is. Like aunties and uncles trying to trying to become wives and husbands. Mm-hmm. Like we got to learn how to really talk to each other. Communication is good. Yeah. yeah. And so like you know, it's, communication it's, saved the nation. Hey yeah. man, we, we're trying. <laughs> we're talking, but we're not really understanding each other. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
Right. And you could be it's all talk and no on. action. Yeah. Because that that's the thing, that's right? Talk that too. takes what you speak and what you guys talk about, what you agree on. It's going to take action on both parts. Right. It's Absolutely. going to take accountability on both parts. Right. Like, what, like, like Shasha, it's not, you're never done working. Never. And especially and when you get in a relationship, y'all growing up together, together yeah. for the rest of y'all life. I'm mm -hmm. talking about marriage. Yeah, for the I rest guess. of y'all life, y'all gonna go through stages. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. It's never just gonna be all just a smooth, smooth sailing. Yeah. It's yeah. never gonna never. be like that. And, and yeah. that's what it's, that sounds like. That's up. <laughs> smooth sailing. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that. <laughs> that what? Well, smooth don't... sailing all the time. No, like, right? I don't want that. that. What you talking about? You talking about that dude? Yeah. yeah no. I, I want to be cool. Like, hey. Nah, just, he don't want the work all the time. Hey, That's. I work a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but relationships are work, especially yeah. functioning relationships. It's gonna take. It gotta be bad work. Right? It ain't yeah, bad yeah, work. It, it could be fun. It yeah. could be mm -hmm. easy. It's just... But it's gonna still require mental and physical. Energy from you, yeah, because you're, you're changing gonna, you're every day. So. so what? What I want to do is not have the simplest form, which is the sexual side, mm -hmm. complicated. Mm -hmm. Like that hey, should be complicated. Hey, that's a good point. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That point. shouldn't be complicated. Right. Like the 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 basic of male, like heterosexuals, male, female. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm only speaking from my experience because I'm a heterosexual. Right. Male, female. That should not be complicated because I want to be with you. I'm talking to you. Our chemistry is this. You are my woman. This needs to be this. It don't need to be complicated from there. Now, the other side, the emotional things that you go through through the day, the war outside of this household, mm -hmm. yo, that's complicated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because we have no control over that. Mm -hmm. Like, it's us against the world, not us against each other. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So that... That part right there, like when it's like there's a sexual frustration now, it's like now I'm warring against you mm. because I'm not getting what I need. Now I gotta always fight. I'm now fighting I gotta, in the house. I'm, I'm fighting, fighting in the house, house. Fighting out of the house. When, because, when does that release happen? When yeah. does that? Uh huh. That, when do I get? Well, that? then, okay. With well, that being said, then it shouldn't take you so long to know if you want to be with her. this woman. Yeah. Because so sometimes it takes me, yeah, 10, 15 years before you know that it's, you want to. There's no time limit on that at all. It's, it took me seven years. We we were together for seven years. But how y'all were young? Yeah, we early twenties when we met. Yeah. Okay, that's different. But at this big age is what we're talking about, sir. <laughs> at, at this big age, I yeah, it like, shouldn't I, take you at, at this 10, big 15 age, years. At this big age, a woman, a woman thirty seven year old telling me that she's celibacy. I'm like, all right, cool. It's nice to meet you. Have a great day. <laughs> have, a, have a great day. You know, it's cool. We can be friends. Like, <laughs> hey, we're going to go Dutch on. Spend money on, on, on you. Yeah, we're take not you doing out that. And wine and dine you we, and have yeah, activities. We're not, we not going to do but that. But if you, okay, if she's telling you this, then you know for sure that she's not out here throwing that coochie out for everybody. You don't know for sure, though. I don't know for if sure. If she's telling you this and you're that's seeing the mannerisms, that's what she's but you're seeing the mannerisms from this lady. Not that she, you know, you talk to her one time, she tell you this and then you gone. Look, but she you're talking. She telling she telling me she celibate because she want to marry me, but there's somebody else that that she like, like knocking, that thing. Yeah, knocking down her walls and calling and fulfilling needs. Like we live in that kind of society because she she used to him, she know him. Yeah, so that's, not that's to raise the body to. count on her. No, you know what because I'm but it's they like, say spinning the block. I just said this to somebody: spinning the block and going back to them exes is God knocking at your door. Somebody, you still stupid, mm -hmm. and that's why you still can't get into a productive mm -hmm. relationship. Mm -hmm. You got to cut that old stuff off. Yeah, got gotcha. to cut the old stuff off, not the new stuff. Yeah, but why the new the new stuff got to earn it? Got to earn it. Yeah, I'm not and saying, I'm not saying you somebody give give up the you know give up the. Ain't nobody saying and, giving up today. Like, yeah. yeah. No it's one's a, saying it's a, that. It's a I know, but if she's so, telling you that she's celibate mm -hmm. and it's today, you know, we we start talking and you're like, oh no, mm -mm. so I can't do this. Yeah. So either basically, exactly. as a so man, that's all of them. Want. That's all of them. Hey, 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 <laughs> well, look, it ain't. It, look, look, look. You made a decision for yourself, exactly, and we are respecting that decision, mm -hmm. right? The uncles are like, yes, yeah, sis, go ahead. You know, mm -hmm. focus on you, queen. Yep, keep doing your thing. Yep. And, and we're not saying, hey, we're not going to date you. It's just like, hey, you know what it costs to come on this ride over here. Right. Mm -hmm. You want the vacations. You want this, that. And, like, I'm not trying to take nobody on the vacation that I'm not sleeping with. Mm 
I'm sorry. Absolutely. I don't want to go home to bake. I don't want to go. First of all, I'm not, I'm not doing First that. First, trying to bust that's it wide open on the podcast. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. not doing that. Like, we on yeah, the beach. Absolutely plan. You know, we we you having drinks, and then you still the on the sixty seat, days. Bro. Yeah, not 60, in, 90 days of a relationship. Y'all typically ain't taking ba- vacations together. Nah, typically. I mean, these young girls, depending not on the time. About. What, is it summertime? Because I'm out of here. You coming or not? Well. But Look, don't say him. Be I mean, if you, yeah, I, I mean, like, if I you buying, we fly. Well, if I'm buying, we <laughs> fly. That's how you get in trouble. You know if you buy, we fly. If you buying, we fly. But she said she tried to be selling me. Like, okay, I mean, cool. And like an old man told <laughs> Look, me, I mean, she selling, I buy. Yeah. Is it sixty days at? <laughs> Yeah, she celibate. I buy it. See where Randall a yeah. trip, trip. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. You getting on that point? <laughs> hey, look, tell her, tell her we going to Maldives. Oh wow! Oh, she Can go. we go to Malta? Yeah, wow. Whatever you want. French Polynesia. Uh, all that. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, uh, all I, I got this little swimsuit all I ain't never wore. All that. All that. All that. Yeah. We'll, 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 you know, we'll fly economy, but don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, it's fine. It's fine. At least it won't be spirit. I promise. It won't be spirit. It's okay. levels. It's levels. I just yeah, need one bag. I just need one bag. I'm a, I'm a tight roll all the stuff. Just one bag. That's all I need. Right. You know what I'm saying? Won't even make you pay for the extra. Just one bag. That's just one bag. <laughs> Everything hey. going to fit in. Hey, we got you. Got you. But that's, but that's the conversation. So right? basically, as men... If a woman comes to you and tell you that she's celibate, that automatically brings up a flag for y'all? Nope. Huh. It's not a flag. It's, not? It, it's, it's, it's a checkbox. Like, okay, I know that she ain't trying to give me no coach. So this time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a checkbox. That's, that's, you that's what coaching. I put it in. Like, that's the way you she ain't trying coaching. to give me no coaching. So let me go. On. Let me go. On. Let, like, hey. Find somebody that's going to get to me. It, it ain't even that. So it's, it's one of those things like, Okay, if I'm if I'm out with another person that's giving me coaching, don't like don't feel no type of way. I like you. Yeah. Let's keep dating. Let's keep you know going because, out and, and seeing. that's the thing. A lot of women tend to put all their eggs in one basket and don't keep dating multiple people. Mm-hmm. They will say I'm celibate to Brian, and then they're not dating nobody else. They're not going on no other dates. They're not, and that's limiting your options. It in me. For me, in my opinion, until you and that person have that sit down conversation and say, we in a monogamous committed relationship, date either them all. one of y'all can date them all. Date them See, all. Y'all got life fucked up. I'll air this bitch out right now. Why? <laughs> <laughs> but you over here getting uh, coochie I, from I, I, I uh, Tanya. Well, see, I you want coochie, coochie from, from you. Tanya. You ain't trying to give me them coochie. Because so I, I told gotta you get I ain't trying to get I no gotta, coochie I got to get it somewhere <laughs> else. <laughs> so you, what you told me was get somebody else to do it. No, I and didn't. And I hire people, so I'm a, I'm a great delegate. You hire people? Like, <laughs> I'm a great I'm delegator. Saying, that sounds like prostitution, so. Okay. <laughs> um, you if you're applying for a job, <laughs> <laughs> send us your resume. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what dating is. We're applying for a position. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying to you is if you're telling me your do nots and not goes are sex, Cool. If I have somebody else that's providing that need for me, cool. But I do want I do want to see what you're about. Mm-hmm. I do want to date you. But she can't get to know nobody else. Um, she can do whatever she wants. He just said wants he was going to air that bitch out. I air this bitch out. Are y'all committed? Are y'all like, no, 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 we're not committed. Not committed. But what, so. what I got a problem with is. And she probably got like Tyrone over there knocking her back oh, out yeah, and like, telling me. Oh, but, but Tyrone, <laughs> Tyrone might not be na- knocking nothing problem. out. That's a whole different problem. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, no, what, that, that no, what my. But what my man mind goes to uh-huh. is, that, is who you give me to. But your man mind goes to though, if like, the so girl don't answer bit. her phone, she with another dude. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes, but sometimes it's but right. Sweet. Sometimes it's true, but most I mean, of the time it's true. You hear I what mean, your partner said on that? I mean, sometimes it is true. Because <laughs> hey, what at one two in the morning, do, you another sleep. one will. Okay. <laughs> See, at two in the 
morning, I definitely am sleeping. I'm just I'm saying. saying. At 9.30. I might be bored. I'm forgetting. We aunties. Yeah. Talking to aunties. You, you wake up early? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll be having to go to bed. That auntie says. I'll be like, yeah. I'll be like, I'll be calling uh, my You start to get sleepy now. Huh? The guy that I've been saying is 45. I'll be like, okay. Yo, it's 10.30. You can call me at 10.30. You don't call people that late now. He said, he said, hey, Wait, I'm going to tell you where you're messing up at. I'm going to tell you where you're messing up at. Hey, if you don't answer that man call, he's going to be like, look, I deserve proof for interest treatment. I got access to you whenever. Right? Unless if it's I'm, some money. If I'm the dude that, that you say you want, yeah. I got access to you when I'm up. Not when you I'll be answering. No. Yeah. <laughs> unless, unless it's some money. I'll be answering. I'll be answering. You, you, be answering. you, you no. better. <laughs> You wanna you wanna go shot. from auntie to wife? You better answer that man call. It's gotta, it's gotta be some money involved. Yeah. Hey, hey. You talking about gotta be some money involved? Gotta be some know. money involved See, because to, uh, I get up for work at three thirty. You not gonna play with me? She late early. Oh. You not gonna play with me in my sleep? Six thirty. Okay. Yeah, it's gotta be some money involved. That's something different. That's something different. Hey. I'm something different. That's something different. Something different. Like, hey, it depends on your work schedule. <laughs> but but honestly, if I if I call your ass at two fifty five in the morning, Ooh, I'm gonna answer be mad. Goddamn call. I'm gonna be mad. That's cool. I'm gonna be real mad because cool. I had like fifteen uh, more minutes to get up. Yeah, you, <laughs> hey, you can be mad. It's cool, but like I called you when I wanted you. Yeah, I called you when I needed you. Yeah, I didn't call you for no bullshit. You better mean you, so. You're my person. Hey, <laughs> if I'm hey. your person, then hey, absolutely. I'm in the back of the paddy wagon. Yeah, if, <laughs> I'm your, if I'm your person, then that's different. Call. Answer the if phone. I'm your person, if I'm your I'm, person, that's person different. most definitely. I ride. But don't come over here at no uh, twelve fifteen to talking about what you doing. Yeah, that part. I that's mean, the part I'm meaning yeah. about the late yeah. night phone calls. Cause what you, you doing? Come through and drop a little di. You gotta mm-hmm. know your person too. Hey man, sorry man. I know what, what I times mean, is good. Hey, yeah, you do gotta know yeah. what times. On the good. weekends is different. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> See, there you go. On the weekends is See, different. That's so, that's wild though. Like you need something during the week because the week be rough. A little top off on Wednesday. That's why it's called Hump Day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, real shit. Yeah. Hey, real, real shit. Yeah. Like, real shit. Like, hey, that, 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 that makes sense. Week, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes week. sense to me. I can, I can get with that shit. Yeah. We can make that a thing. We need, need to make that a rule. I literally room. just made that up while we were sitting. Hey, <laughs> need to make it's, that a it's make, <laughs> make so money Mondays, room. turn up Tuesday or Tuesday, Tuesday, depending on who you are. Like and Tuesday. Hump Taco Wednesday. Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. He eats oh, over here. Taco and tequila Tuesday. Taco and tequila Tuesday. Tacos and titties. Man, well, that's, that's what I mean, needs to be. That's what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. What, what's she saying? That's give what you want to do. I'm gonna open the lid. Give me two, two margaritas. margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, ain't that what that's like? yeah. that was? That was she said. I didn't say that. That chick angel said that. I didn't write that. That, that chick angel. That chick oh, angel. that's a real name. Her that's name a, is Angel, but her like her stage name. That's a stage name. That chick angel. Okay. With her, uh, her and her husband be having little cute videos. Oh, they, they drink oh. a lot of money. I never heard of them. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Uh, <laughs> with Kev on stage. Y'all don't follow Kev on stage? Uh-uh. I know Kev on stage. Right, yeah, Kev on stage. He had a El Paso. And that chick uh, Angel, uh, uh, they have, they show. The yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, okay. Exactly. Yeah, I know what that is. I know what it is. That's her who made the one margarita song. For real? Yeah. Okay. She's hilarious. She's hilarious. She really is. She's funny as hell. Like Kev, Kev on stage is funny as hell too. Uh-huh. Yeah, um, but he he got a nice little team with him. I like yeah, him. yeah, they yeah. They good. They good. Best team. Oh, what's the, what's the old boy? Uh, Tony Baker. Tony Baker. The voice yeah, over. Yeah, Bruh. give him <laughs> give him skitty skippy the pack. <laughs> Y'all see the one when they send him some biscuits? Yeah, <laughs> I was left out because I didn't know what they talking about. Okay. <laughs> and then he went and donated all the food to the shelter. And then they, in the comments, they was like, "Them workers finna eat good. They ain't giving them to the kids." <laughs> <laughs> that's a like lunch break. Oh, yeah, real quick oh. though, I'm sorry. When is this thing supposed to air? Can I ask that? Oh yeah, so this <laughs> <laughs> show. No, cause, cause, on the show. Cause, on the show. Uh, cause, cause like I, I'm asking that because it's Mother's Day is about to come up. Mm-hmm. And you know, mm-hmm. we're talking about we're talking about celibacy. We're talking about, you know, uh a man and a woman being being intimate with each other. And we're not here if our mothers don't 
give it up. So if they, if our mother, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Mama had to bust it open. Mama yeah. had to bust yeah. wide open. Mama. So mama. mama, I love you. You know what I'm saying? Mama. 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 I'm sorry, That's mama. Pretty. Hey, hey, mama. Hey, mama. <laughs> hey, nah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. mama. Oh, that was I mean, not me. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> not the thank, <laughs> thank, thank you for Appreciate being it. you. <laughs> Wow, thank you for being here. You did great. Thank you for being here. Wow. So shout out to all the moms out there. I I wanted to break into that. Mother's Day, actually. Does it? Word. (laughs) Hey, that's dope. Definitely happy Mother's Day. (laughs) And Every like if y'all that. if y'all really listen to this, hey, don't be celibate. Like, no, <laughs> wow. we need more mamas and daddies. We need more mamas and you know real dads out there. So yeah. you know, because black dads matter. They really yes, do. They Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Uh, yes, Absolutely. they do. I'm Absolutely. so pro fatherhood in the black community. That's dope. We yeah. need it because we need it. it we makes need a huge it. difference. Yeah, huge. Really huge. Just, you huge. instantly know a dude that didn't have a they they father in their life. Right. You instantly. Instantly. instantly do. Yeah, instantly. you really do. But do you, you know, do what? you instantly recognize women that didn't have fathers? Yep. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because oh, okay. there's a lot. There's a lot. We're talking about this celibacy. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right there. First day. Your Where? daddy, your yeah. daddy gonna tell you. Where? Well, now, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but you know, you know, daddy don't want you out there doing right, it. Right. But you are a woman, so and men gonna want you. Men uh-huh. gonna, you know, what I'm saying, they gonna just, get you. Just you know, pick, make, make sure they right. So yep. Right. Yep. That's what a dad is gonna tell you. Mm-hmm. Like a dad, Use your sense of discernment. Yeah. Yes. But I think as women. I like that. I like that. Say it again. Sense of discernment. He's your sense of discernment. And I'm so, like, that is nice. as a woman, and when we're younger, typically that sense of discernment isn't as strong. It's something mm-hmm. you gotta learn. It's yeah. something that you have yeah. to learn. It's Absolutely. something that you have to literally work on and build. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's like a muscle almost. Yeah. yeah. And, and honestly, yeah. I can't wait for my yeah. daughter to be like, "Daddy, I love him." No, like, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> she gonna be like, she gonna be like, but Daddy, I hey, love him. No, I'm you like, don't. <laughs> <laughs> at what age? At what age do you want her to, to take a man seriously? At like, at what age? Twenty five. Thirty. When she when Mother. she's off my insurance. Okay. But that's, <laughs> yeah, but that's a good point. That's 26. Cool. I said the same she thing. Off insurance yeah. at 26. I ain't got kids right now, but I said if I have don't if I have throw don't, don't take no <laughs> nigga serious until you about 30. Man, yeah, hey, you off my that, insurance. That is true because it's a waste I, of time. I, I wouldn't mm-hmm. have married me in my 20s. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Men right. and women. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm always worried when I see couples get married at 20. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because they have still a, still so end up being divorced at 25 if they get Or they yeah. have a very tumultuous mm-hmm. marriage and end up divorced at 40 and right. starting yeah. everything over. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Live your life in your 20s. That's what you should do. Yeah, Live travel, go to school, whatever it is yep. that you want to do in your twenties, that's what you should do. I ain't saying just totally just just be out there home, but have fun. Live yeah. your life. Get Live some experiences. Life. Yeah. Figure out who it is and what it is that you want. Absolutely. So that you don't have regrets when mm-hmm. you're older. I mean, you're gonna always have regrets. But I mean that's what shapes you. That's yeah. what you Yeah, know, that, that's how you become who you are. I, I just yeah. I just need you. To be more long term than short term, mm-hmm. I need you to think mm-hmm. like foresight yeah. than than short side. Like we say, like experience, have great experiences, and and live your life. But a lot of a lot of women like just like have these experiences and live their life. Not all experiences are meant for you to have, mm. Mm. and you can avoid having Ooh, those preach. terrible experiences. Yeah. And sitting there, well, well, I, I, you know, I'm not, I don't look like what I, what I went through. Yeah, because you weren't supposed to go through it. That's the benefit of having a pops. Yeah, a pops can sit there and guide you in the, and like, hey, bro, don't do that. Yeah. Hey, 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 little mama, mm-hmm. baby girl, mm-hmm. yeah. don't do that. You ain't got to go through that. You ain't got to go through that. Right? So your, your dad is your ultimate guide, mm. your ultimate protector. I agree. Right? Mm-hmm. So I always, I always look at it like this, like the, the way that you should be as a father is the way God is a father to you. Ooh. Come on now. That's you know real good. Right? We done went to church. Yeah. Hey. Come on. We, had a, we had a church <laughs> background. But, you know what I'm saying? But like, for real, for real. Like, I, I always up like, people like, can, can we give uh, to your daughter? Can we give to your child? I'm like, yeah, I'll give me. Because mm-hmm. my father tries that, try, is yeah. giving so much to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'll give her because she needs to understand that look, you live a life where your father 
is a generous man to you. Mm -hmm. And if another man comes around you, he he has he to, to be that. It's a requirement. Yeah. He has to be that. The, he has what, to see you as she, a priority. That's Absolutely. what she should see, though. Like, you know, if the, if the dad is there, he should be given... Ten times more than anybody else, than That's the mom right. and anybody else. Right. And so that she way, what, she said need for nothing her, from another dude because she already had. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So like the dude has to re either replace what I'm doing and elevate, yeah. or just take my place. Like yeah. look, dude, and keep her steady. And keep yeah, her, nice. keep her. All right. Yeah, keep her at the lifestyle that she grew up. Mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying. My my daughter don't know. Oh well, we don't have this right now. Yeah. She so don't know that because yeah. we got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, your daddy worked hard for mm -hmm. us. To make sure you know when you saying? open that refrigerator, whatever snack you want, whatever it's yeah. you want and is it, there. When you even, flip that light switch on, that light turn on. on. And mm -hmm. even if you don't have that that kind of privilege or that kind of lifestyle yet, uh, for your children, your children should always be in the mindset of worry free mm -hmm. and then just have have their own child concerns. Right. Yeah, right. because and you that's, know that's that mama's gonna get it, them. daddy Absolutely, gonna yeah. get it. Yeah, I don't so, have to worry about right. oh, am I but gonna that's, eat today. That's a whole other topic because it's a lot of people who are parents that mm. should not be parents. I agree. True. Yes. But I, I feel like those people needed those kids because with the uh, the road they was going down was a, a tumultuous. Maybe they should have went down. <laughs> they needed them kids to save them. They needed kids. Maybe they should have went down. That's a literally that gift from God. Like, yeah. you needed them Maybe. kids. To, to, to slow you down. Yes. Yeah. That was Absolutely. Mm. Mm. And, you know, some, sometimes kids save your life. Hell yeah. Like, you know what? I've seen it happen plenty of times. <laughs> yeah. I was going to keep doing this, but I, kept, now, and now I can't. And then they keep on having them. Stone Cold <laughs> just Gangsters. street. Yeah, Had a child. Soft as cotton. Now. Just the nicest <laughs> Not news. Not soft as cotton. Soft as right. cotton. But they needed right. that though. All right. you know? Or they would have ended up dead or in jail. Absolutely. Or, sure. or, Absolutely. or putting more bodies, bodies in the ground. Yeah. So, oh, that is, like, well, I, uh, I don't know. So yeah, we had a, a, a girl dad episode where we talked about some of this. Uh, also, do you have sons also or just a daughter? Just daughter currently. Okay. And currently. And somebody pregnant? Not that you oh, know I of. hope oh. not. <laughs> no. Pull out game sound week. week? Sir, can you pull out a parking lot? <laughs> can you pull out a parking are lot? You, are you trying to pull? <laughs> Wait, is, your, is, your wife, is your wife pregnant, maybe? Uh, no, ma'am. Oh, not that I know okay. of. Okay. Okay. Just ask him. Nah, I think she's good. Yeah, wait a minute. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. For this month. For this month. Oh, <laughs> hey, and for the single men out there, track track your, your woman's cycle. Whenever she on, make sure you keep up with it. Cause like that way you both know who's she late a little and who's emotional. Not. Hey, you know what's going on. Mm -hmm. So that way you know when to like, hey, yeah. send the chocolates, send the flowers. And shut the fuck Ooh, up. Cupcake. <laughs> look, chivalry is not dead. Yeah. That's, what, not dead. that's what that's what we hey, need to really push. Hey, hey real, yes. real, real talk, real Absolutely. talk, real talk. So it, it's like I'm, be I'm thoughtful. God. Yeah, mm -hmm. like like I said, I'm trying, I'm trying to get the aunties into being wives. Look, that's the I'm, thing. Right that's, there. that's that's well, that's we're trying I'm to get at. the unckles to be husbands. Yes. Hey, there you go. We help yes. each other. Amen. Because they we need both of them. Yeah, we need. I need the tax break, baby. Come on now. <laughs> I need the tax break. Yeah, yeah, I need yeah, that, 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 that. I need who? Chad. Yeah, man. Woo, they, Chad. They I keep, can't they stand both of y'all. Woo, Chad. They keep doing it to us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, like checking that box single, it ain't what it is on my on my tax return. Like, Why is y'all taking all this money? <laughs> Can, I Can I get, get some of it back? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't have enough kids. Little smidgy, little smidgy. Corn of it. It ain't it ain't the rich that's paying the taxes. It's the it's, it's the, the single yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. we're that's single what it is. and we paying off. <laughs> Single you, and no kids. Man. Shut yeah, up. Man. That's what I'm, I'm just, just I'm just saying. I'm hating on you right I'm now. I'm supporting you, man. Hey, he ain't even gotta have kids right now. He got he still got a tax break. Man, what? And hey, man. and I'm able to say that because like I know there's we have a tax business. <laughs> and so I'm just sitting there like, man. Yeah, we just finished tax day was April 15th. Yeah, mm -hmm. April 15th. Y'all getting a whole finished. bunch of tax breaks that I don't even get. Mm -hmm. I gotta keep starting businesses. Well, guess what? Hey. 
you should talk to that woman that maybe told you that she's celibate so you can get a wife. Mm -hmm. Bring it on. Look, right. bring, back bring around. it cir full circle. circle. Full circle. Full circle. Full circle. Hey. Right back on around. Full circle. Hey. Well, that's, that's guys. Like, uh, hey. <laughs> well, well. Go hey. talk to that celibate woman. Hey. Don't talk to the wife. You, you, you might have had got a wife and, yes. and your lunch mate would have known in a heart. Would have known in there. Hey, spin that block and throw it. Spin that block and throw it one time for me. That's all. Oh, throw it one time to make sure I want it. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and end the segment and go to our auntie's friend's business this week. So our auntie's friend's uh, business this week uh, is a sneaker re ugh, sneaker reseller based out of Fort Worth. Hey. What's on your feet? His IG is what's W-H-A-T-Z on O-N your feet 22. And tell him that Auntie's and Mimosa sent you. He is a uh, born and bred Fort Worth good dude. I've known him since forever, so okay, he's definitely town. definitely an Auntie's friend's business. So yeah, okay, Funky Town. Tell him the Auntie <laughs> sent y'all. Um, so we got our social media tags. Make sure you hit us up on IG, Facebook, Pi um, Apple Podcast, Spotify, YouTube, Linktree. Hit us up. We got some. Uh, oh, we got a Reddit now. So y'all can get uh -oh. in the group chat. Yes, I made the Reddit. Yeah. Ready, so we got a Reddit. So we're gonna have Let's go, go ahead and join the aunties in the group chat so we can talk about it. Yes, yeah, okay. so we, we can, can talk, talk about, about it. it. I'm gonna get up in there. Yes, where can we find y'all on social media? Uh Instagram, uh podcast, creatives conversation uh creatives conversation podcast, mm -hmm. and my personal podcast, J underscore tempo. Okay. On Instagram. Okay, I got several, so we're gonna, oh, we're gonna Lord. make it quick, Ooh. right? <laughs> so <laughs> bring it down, bring it Come down. Come on, boss. So uh <laughs> we got uh my personal page at B Ray uh 46. We have our business page at Fowler Roof and Pros. Uh we have our other uh actually we brought gifts, uh okay. Kingpin Luxury Cigar Access. Uh if you guys want to take uh one of those boxes in front of you. Uh, we sell torches and lighters. Okay. Ooh, okay. Uh, torches and we lighters. Brought, we brought gifts for uh, for the lovely oh, ladies. Oh, these real pretty. That is cute. Come That's on. our rose gold oh, line. Not, a, not oh, anybody rose has those. Gold. So I just gave you those. Oh, that's uh, nice. I'm about to uh, open it for Hold you. Hold on, friend, because I don't yeah. smoke. Let me see. Wait, wait. We all interrupting your segment. So. Oh, oh. Oh, you ain't have to do that. See? I don't. Oh, oh, oh. So you don't have to yeah, do Yeah, just it. push down. Oh, oh look at that. and then it light up, y'all. <laughs> we fancy. Yeah. Oh, we fancy. To, uh, this is yeah, nice. Yeah. That is real nice. So, <laughs> so uh, just just wanted to say thank you for having us on. Thank uh, you. We really appreciate what you're doing. Yes. Uh, love the podcast. Love the show. Um, and I'm I'm gonna pass it on because I I think that was everything that we had. Oh, tax time pros. Tax time uh, pros. Oh, How many jobs you got? You Jamaican? He Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he getting it. We, get, we keep the bills paid and the lights. All right, so. hey, got right. And them snacks and the refrigerator. For, yeah. for your daughter. I got you. I got you. you know. All right, y'all. Well, I guess this is the end of this episode. Thank y'all so much for coming all out. Right, and right. tune in to the next episode. Bye, Bye. guys. I want to get away. And you need time to yourself. Feeling so overwhelmed with problems. Seems like nothing can solve it. No, you need a mental break. Well, come on in, pull up a chair. And have some fun with a couple friends just like you.